In the last video we implemented the registration flow, but after registering we are being sent to the login page instead of the home page. This happens because of the auth guard we implemented. The user is registered but not logged. In this video we are going to make the user login after registration and send the user to the home page. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel in order to follow the development of this real app using the Ionic framework. When the user is registered, we are sending it to the home page. What we should do instead is to log in the user, so let's program this with TDD. We have a test for the register success case. What we are testing is that the user is being sent to the home page. We are going to change this test and expect that the user is logging in. To do this, I'll get the store and select the login state. I'll subscribe to it to have access to this state and then I'll expect that the user is logging in. Now I can remove this spy. As we are using the login state, I'll need to declare it on the test configurations, otherwise the test will not know about it. After I save this, our test will fail. It fails because we are not logging in the user, so let's do this. Instead of navigating to the home page, what I will do instead is to tell the store to dispatch the login action. This action receives an object that has an email, which I'll get from the register forms form email value, and it also receives a password, which I'll get from the register forms form password value. After I save this, our task will pass. Alright, let me just refactor this function because it's getting too long. I'll create a new private function called onError, which will receive as parameter the state of the type register state. Now I'll cut and paste this code and finally I'll just call the onError function. I'll also create a new private function called onregistered that will receive as parameter the state of the type register state. Now I'll cut and paste this code and finally I'll just call the onregistered function. Also, before I forget, I need to unsubscribe from this selector when the page is destroyed. So I'll create a new property on the page called register state subscription of the type subscription. I'll now inform that this page implements the on destroy interface and then I need to declare a function called ng on destroy. Inside of this function, I will unsubscribe to the register state subscription. And finally, I'll give the register state subscription the result of the subscription. After I save this, our tests keep passing. Ok, you can notice now that there is no place in the register page where I'm sending the user to the home page, right? I'll even remove this router here so we know for sure I'm not sending the user to the home page anywhere on the screen. After I save this, our tests keep passing. So now let's take a look at the app. Let me open the Redux tab so we can see what's happening. I will input random values on all the form fields, but for the email, I'll put my email as there is already a user registered with this email. I'll click on the register button, the registration will be successful, the login will also be successful, and then the user will be redirected to the home page. Well, if on the register page I'm never sending the user to the home page, how did this magic happen? This behavior happens because the first page we enter in our app is the login page. Here we subscribe to the login state and never unsubscribe from it. So when we call the login action on the register page, this subscription here is executed. So let me go to the app and put a debugger here so you can see better what's happening. I'll go to the register page component file and I'll put the debugger. Now I'll go to the register page and fill in all the fields. I'll now click on the register button and the registration will happen with success. Then the login action is called and this subscriber is executed. First it's being executed because it's trying to log in. I'll continue the execution and then it will log in successfully and execute this again. But now this time the user is logged in. With this, the login page will be responsible to send the user to the home page. You can imagine that this shouldn't happen because we should be destroying the subscription here on the ng onDestroy function, which should be executed when we go to the register page. 
Well, this actually doesn't happen because this is only called when the page is removed from the page stack. But when we go to the register page, the login page is still on the stack as the first page. That's why we have the back button here. This flow works fine for me, so I'm not going to change this. But when the user goes to the home page, we should actually destroy the subscription both on the login page and on the register page, in case the user is coming from the register page. To do this, I'll need to remove the login and register pages from the stack and set the home page as the root of the stack. In order to do this, I will use a unique component called navcontroller on the login page. When the login happens, instead of telling the router to navigate to the login page, I'll tell the nav controller to navigate to the new route, which will be the home page. By doing this, the subscriptions will be destroyed, so let's check that on the app. I'll put a debugger on the ng on destroy function of the login state, and I'll do the same for the register page. I'll go to the page, to the file, component file, and put the debugger here on the ng on destroy. So now let me do the registration. Notice that after the navigation to the new root home, the login page is destroyed and its subscription is unsubscribed. The same will happen for the register page. And now the home page is our root page. And with this, we finish the main part of the registration flow. In the next video, I will add one more functionality to the registration flow which is to get the